Hello students. Today we will be discussing Samuel Beckett as a dramatist. So when we read Samuel Beckett's plays, the first thing that comes to our mind is that Samuel Beckett is an iconoclast. Now what is the meaning of an iconoclast? Iconoclast means an image breaker. And by image breaker I mean someone who breaks stereotypes or traditions or something that has been going on for a period of times and he does not consider it and makes his own path breaks those stereotypes so what has he done he has shattered conventions and he has pioneered a new kind of drama and what is peculiar about his plays is that his drama is not categorized into a tragedy or a comedy and also that it is above classifications above divisions etc etc and his plays are now not, not didactic they do not teach any moral lessons they do not preach anything they do not have any propaganda but what his plays show are the situations in which we all are so what i said above is how he has broken conventions how he has broken traditions how he uh, cannot be categorized his plays cannot be classified they only show situations circumstances in which we all are in other words they expose us in our existential predicament watching a beckett play is not entertainment what is it then it is a total involvement of personality because his plays are total theater now what do we mean by total theater total theater means that when we watch a beckett play his plays are experienced they are not meant to be enjoyed lightly what they do is that they produce in an audience an effect which is very peculiar to the theater something that is experienced directly it is not in fragments but in totality that a beckett play can be understood and beckett uses words in his plays not only to convey ideas but also to produce effects and in his own phrase it can be said that his plays are one form of dramatic ammunition like music beckett's work must be heard to be effective why because in his plays 
the voice is as important as an orchestra and the silences in the play are also as important as the sounds and the sounds as important as the meaning now when we watch a beckett play it definitely leaves an impact a uh, an indelible impression on the minds of the audiences why because when you watch a beckett play it challenges some of our assumptions about life and the way we live life and one of his recent critics observed that beckett's plays stay in the bones and by that he meant that his plays haunt a person whether he is sleeping or awake beckett in his plays does not offer any tracts or dogmas or creeds or truths or answers he does not even offer philosophy but what he communicates is an experience he expresses his vision of desolation desolation means aloneness loneliness with a very unique par and when we watch his plays or read his plays they do have an appeal but it would be pointless to look for some kind of a logical or a universal message behind beckett's works because beckett presents an experience and not any truth argument or statement and that is why one critic described waiting for godo as a statement in dramatic terms of the wretchedness of man without god while another critic sees it as a general expression of the futility of human existence when man pins his hope on a force outside of himself now both these interpretations the first by a very devout roman catholic and the other by a firm existentialist are equally valid and equally irrelevant why because beckett is not concerned with any religious or philosophical belief he is not interested in any system what he is writing about is waiting about helplessness about human frustration and all of these interest him deeply and all of these make us experience that circumstance or situation directly we'll continue the next time